I'm going to give you one of the keys to the source code. Gematria. Gematria is the practice of assigning a numerical value to a word, name, or phrase by reading it as a number, or sometimes by using an alphanumerical cipher. The letters of the alphabets involved have standard numerical values, but a word can yield several values if a cipher is used. Gematria is matching the sum of keywords or phrases with dates on the calendar and time span duration matching the same digits in various ways. Most importantly, Gematria is a language, and like any language, once it's studied and understood, it can be spoken. There's a Gematria database of various various ciphers, numerology timelines, and Gematria connections I use. Gematria breaks down the source code into an understandable sequence. If you are a truth seeker like me, then you understand that there is a reason for everything. There is cause in everything, and there is effect in everything. Let's take the number three. Three can be found in the descriptions of the divine throughout many religions. This can be found in the Christian Holy Trinity of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, or in the Hindu Holy Trinity of Vishnu, Shiva, and Brahma. The primordial sound of Aum is often spelled with three letters and has a three in the letter M. The concept of time is represented by the past, present, and future. And of course, the pi symbol is represented by 3.1415. The three degrees and the 33 degrees are also very symbolic in Freemasonry. If this topic is of interest to you and you would like to see multiple parts, let me know in the comment section and we can do a deep dive into it together.